Hey everybody and welcome back to this Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This time we are going to be doing the Spirit at long last. Um, so, just like last time we're going to be coming in and taking out the Armos, but this time we actually have somewhere to go to, uh, make progress. I'll gladly collect those bombs. So, now that we have the silver gauntlets, we're going to be pushing this block in. And I can't tell you how glad I'm, I am to finally be doing this. Um, so we come in here and there's some females here. I'm gonna replace the ocarina because we're not gonna be needing that for a while. Check. This one is one of those demos that takes two hits from the bombs. So once the Beamos is down, we pull out our bow and hit the crystal switch up top, which opens up those doors, as you saw. We walk into the door, and here is a wolf host guard and a Triforce symbol. Kill it as you would any other Wolfos. And apparently I was wrong about not needing the Ocarina. We needed it right away. That just drops down a chest right ahead of you. Grab the chest and inside the chest is the compass. So once you're done with that, you can just hook shot onto these walls, which is going to save us a lot of time in the long run. Come back through here, the Beamos is back. So, deal with it the same way. And now we can go into the other door that opened. Alright. So, here... We need the hover boost to get this first one here which I missed of course and I saw the song of time block but I'm gonna have to climb back up here there's that grab this one And then we go over here and grab this silver rupee, and then we have to come over here and move this block once again. And there's the last silver rupee. that we can go in here you hear the like like it drops one hit the big ball on so it'll kill it and I believe we can remove the hover boots that chest has a small key Go inside this room a little bit and then grapple onto the 
See how much time that saved us. We didn't have to dodge those rocks or climb the wall. Yeah. Alright. Take out the Beamos once again. Well, at least give us some bombs to work with. Open this door. Another like like. And I know what's coming up, so I'm gonna whip that right away. Alright. Look up here. Yeah, real real smart place to grab onto the wall. Anyway, now we're up here. Okay, that was in the child wing segment. All right. That was an invisible floor master. Because I didn't say it. Uh, or I didn't show it. I'll just say it. It was an invisible floor master. Now, only one of these switches is real. It's this one right here. But I'm going to show you what happens if you get the wrong ones. This one drops a treasure chest. And inside it... recovery heart so that's a good it's a good one this this switch is fake it drops another treasure chest this one is not a treasure chest it is a mimic it's a fake treasure chest there to trick you So I'm going to push this the other way now so that I can get the other one to show you what happens if you hit it before I hit the right one. Just so I can have footage of everything, um, you know, at the end of the day. Alright. So if you hit that last one, that last wrong one, a wall master will drop and try to take you back to the beginning. Deal with it any other, and deal with it the way you would any other. And by hitting that wall master switch, you automatically hit the right one because of the positioning of the switches. Come in here. This armor statue is not a real statue. It will try to attack you. Kill it and you get some bombs. Now, this room should look familiar. It's the room with the goddess statue. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is miss that, obviously. So, I'm going to come over here and Grab that. And climb up here. And then go all the way up these stairs like that. Navi flies over there, so you know what that means. Play the Scarecrow song. I stopped in the exact right position to do that. But, obviously there's that gold skull tour there. How many are left in here, I wonder? That's the last one? Alright. Now, there's one more thing I need to do in here. 
before that, I'm gonna... Alright. Couldn't slash it out of the air, but at least I got the heart from it. Okay. I'm gonna come back up here. You can see there's a chest over there. What you gotta do is you gotta land on this hand without falling off, because this is actually required to do, but... There's another part to it. That chest appears. But what isn't immediately obvious is that you can come back up here and this chest is now there. That Triforce, that uh, Zelda's Lullaby spot sent that chest up here so you can come over here and do this. And in case you're wondering, inside this chest is a blue rupee. They literally put that chest there so you can hook shot to it. There's, there was no need to put anything important in there. But. This chest, on the other hand, is the one that they put there that's required. After getting that small key, let's go in here and see what we can do. We have another silver block that you can push like this. Push it right into the corner like so. And it reveals another silver block that you can push. So you push this one into the corner like... So, it reveals a hallway, a stairway, a rusted switch, and a, a strange looking square. Hit the switch, and it opens up this elevator back to the entrance. That answers the question of what that was for. So, now that we... Wrong way. The screen I'm looking at is, is kind of dark. So uh, it's hard to... It's kind of hard to see the game sometimes. But now that we got that... that uh, now that we got that question answered, we can... Now that we got that question answered, we can come up here... And up here, there's a door with a lock that I just went through without hesitating. There's another Beemos guarding this. No bombs this time. Through this door, another Beemos. I missed. There we go. He didn't leave any bombs. Alright. Oh, I do have fire arrows. I forgot I got those. So, these Anubis enemies, because that's what they're called, are weak to fire. Just hit them with any fire you have available to you and they die. That's what this switch here is. You hit this switch, and a ring of fire uh, erupts, I guess. This room. When I was a kid, this room gave me a lot of grief. Because you gotta hit this switch. 
can get through that door as quick as possible. You see? All four of those Armos are alive. This puzzle confounded me for a week when I was a kid. Until I thought of something that I thought was creative. See, what I ultimately ended up doing, and I could not come up with any other solution, so I think this is what the game intended. You have to shoot this Armos. And then quickly run through the door before it steps off the switch. Now, this hallway should look familiar. If it does, then you know what is behind that next door. But there are two there are two chests in this room that are both invisible. That one has recovery heart. And this one has a recovery heart. Not that useful considering what we're going up against, but this time the iron knuckle is not going to be that difficult. Holy crap. Okay, only getting hit once is better than I could have asked for, but... Okay. At any rate... Go through the door and we come through here. And chest falls down as soon as we walk through here. Now, there was a reason that they designed it this way. It was because you can hook shot to chests and you can actually get to the chest that contain the silver gauntlets as adult link which means that if you chose to do that and I have done this in the past to test this idea if you get there and try to hook shot to this chest if it were just there you could do that and skip the entire segment of the spirit temple I just did so they had it drop down from above so that you would have to go through that entire segment they thought of that exact thing but in that chest was the mirror shield which basically lets you have a mirror on you whenever or, just, anytime Now that I got that, I'm going to go ahead and equip it, and it completely fills up this screen. And I'm going to be finishing up the Spirit Temple in the next episode. So, I'm going to leave you for a few seconds to enjoy this music as I end the episode. See you guys next time.